we're going to do a double presentation today. The first part of the presentation is going to be about <coughs> how your brain is developing over the next 10 years. And then the second part of the presentation is going to be about new ways to learn that nobody's ever shared before. All right? So everybody here is 16, 17-ish, right? Juniors. All right, cool. So we're going to start off with a story. It's going to be a story about two trees, best friends, that are growing along a fence, a gated fence. Two trees. <coughs> Barky, Bark and Stumpy. Which one is Stumpy? Which one do you think is Stumpy? Left or right? Right. right. Perfect. Everybody, every time for the past year, every presentation of your game, they say right. Because it looks like a Stumpy, right? It looks like a Stumpy. All right. So Stumpy and Bark, they grew along with friends. They went through elementary school together. They went through middle school together. They went through high school together. Lots of trials and tribulations. Lots of tests, athletic events, relationships. Everything you think together, they went and up and down and left to go until they finally, one day, Stumpy and Bark, they graduated high school, right? Very happy, finally, I'm done! I'm moving on to the next phase of my life, university. I got my fives on my AP test. Bye-bye. Time to relax now, right? <clears throat> kind of. So, Bark, Bark was like... <laughs> Yo, it's university time. Let's party this up. All right, I got into my dream school. Time to chill, time to relax. Okay, I already did the hard work. Let's get on TikTok all day. Who here is on TikTok? Raise your hand if you're on TikTok. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's deep. TikTok's deep inside the brain. We'll have another conversation on TikTok. But he's on TikTok all day, and he's partying it up. What did Stumpy do? Stumpy's like, yo, now I don't have a teacher. Now I don't have parents. Nobody's telling me what to do. I can do everything, but I will be wise, and I will become my own parent. I'm going to tell myself to do deadlines. I'm going to tell myself to stay focused and get my tasks done. Right? Who... Utilize their roots more efficiently. Stumpy or bark? Stumpy. Stumpy. Look at Stumpy. Strong. Stumpy. We like Stumpy. He utilizes roots. They went through the same high school path, but only one of them took advantage of it. The other one did not. So you don't want that when you get to university. <clears throat> I'm 24, so I was in high school eight years ago. I was literally sitting in these seats at Orange High School, at Orange High School. And when I was 16, 17, I was so just casual about it. Like I wasn't, I was listening to what all these adults are saying, and I was just kind of like, okay, just going with the flow. Until I graduated university, got into university, or sorry, got into university, got into life, at the age of 22, I was kind of like, oh, it all makes sense. Every single thing the teachers were telling me when I was in high school, in middle school, and these adults, finally makes sense. Now I know why they said that. But I didn't understand that until I was 22. It was so interesting. All right. Now why all this tree scenario and all these different trees and stuff? Everyone here has heard about the philosophy that your brain is a computer, right? Your brain is a computer. Ones and zero. Type, 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 type. Your brain has more principles with a tree. Meaning, the brain's biology and how it grows is more correlated with how a tree grows and how a tree processes information rather than how a computer processes information. Okay? This is a physics principle. This physics principle is called the constructional law. So look at this tree here. You see how the tree's growing and branching? You look at the brain here, it's growing and branching. The veins and arteries growing and branching. Look at the river and the valley growing and branching. They all look the same. This is the secret of the universe. The secret of the universe is that systems flow more efficiently over time. Okay? 
Now, everybody happy with this? Okay. Can everybody tell me the difference between anybody tell me the difference between a brain and a mind? <laughs> you is that hand raised? Oh yeah, tell me. <laughs> so, um, isn't a brain? Isn't the word brain a reference to like the physical like or, like organ? Well, the mind is like the idea of the thing that the idea. <laughs> That's perfect. Way better than I have a said it. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Perfect. So the brain, you can touch the brain. It's right there. The brain's right here. I can touch it. I can dissect it. I can scalpel surgery. <coughs> can I do that with the mind? Can you put the mind in your hand? Can you put the, can you put the mind in your hand? I want the mind. Where's the mind? Put it in my hand. Can't put it. Can't touch it. But it governs everything. It governs all of reality. The mind. So, we have a question. No wrong answer. So, what does this tree flow through? It's flowing through what? Air. What does the brain, what is it flowing through? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Spinal fluid, blood vessels, and all this stuff. Arteries and the skull and other. Okay, and what is this flowing through? Same thing. What is what is this river? What is it flowing through? The ground. The valley of the ground is flowing. The, gr the ground is flowing back. It's flowing forward. Cool. What is the mind flowing through? What? <laughs> Whoa, that's so, I didn't even like, yeah, that's cool. I didn't say, I didn't think of it like that. But I was going to say the answer is, that's correct answer. The, the answer I was giving is the mind flows through, it's flowing through time. It's organizing itself through time. All right? And we'll talk about that deeper in a bit. But look at this tree. Let's go back to this tree. See how it's branching. This branching concept is going to be really important. So this is the first principle. Principle number one. Our brains are trees. They're not computers. They're trees. Who here is in AP psychology? Or has taken it? Wow. That, oh, you. Awesome. Look at you. So have you? have you... So do you know about the concept of neuroplasticity? Have you learned this? It's like, I think it changes something like about the brain, like it adapts or something. Yeah, that's perfect. That's the correct. Mm -hmm. The brain can change. That's neuroplasticity. So we have all these different fibers and connections inside the brain. And these fibers and connections inside the brain, they're dancing, they're flowing, they're moving. So that's what this brain does. And so the brain can change itself just like a tree. Okay, it's not a computer. Type, 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 type. It's flowing, it's moving, it's dodging different objects. <coughs> there are many, many different ways in which the brain can change. The most important way that I want everybody to think about here is something called map expansion. What is map expansion? So map expansion is this. If you have a region of the brain and it's always being utilized, it's gonna get bigger. That's map expansion. So there are regions of the brain associated with music, associated with sports, weightlifting, associated with economic decision making, associated with painting, art. Here's another one. There's a region of the brain associated with TikTok, and addiction, uh-huh. There's regions of the brain associated with TikTok. The more you use that region, the more it grows. Okay? So let's say, for instance, you had a very, the region of the brain associated with economics is very large, okay? It fills up, fills up the region of the brain. It's like a big elephant room. Can everybody, click, can everybody imagine the big elephant right there? Right there, right? Sitting right there. If we had an elephant right there and sitting in the room, like, whoa, we're 
We're all going to see it. We're all going to point at it. What is this thing doing in here? We're in Cleveland, Ohio. It's winter time. That's weird. But this element governs all the connections in our brain. So if we had a big AP, if we had a big economics region of the brain, it will govern the music region. What is the economics of music? How do we move money around for these different pop stars and different singers around the world so they can uh, develop their tours, manage their tours and their concerts? What is the economics of sports and athletics? The economics of moving players around and different basketball teams and making sure that these players are having good contracts and they can live a healthy life. What is the economics of medicine? What is the economics of neuroscience? Let's say for instance, right? So when you have a big region, like the elephant in the room, all the other mini regions around it, they're all looking at it like, oh, this thing is the thing that's guiding us. Does that make sense? So what happens when you have a big TikTok region? There being lots of swiping, right? I'm serious. Yeah, no. If you have big, if the region of TikTok, so that TikTok, so those TikTok circuitry, if you have a big, large TikTok circuitry, it will, it will start to hurt the other regions over time. We'll talk about that another day. Not, I don't want to talk about that now. So that's a very, that's an important subject. Okay, but well, let's go over here. Everybody happy with the whole map expansion? Neuroplasticity regions grow. So let's look at this one, which is S curves. So we have those branching, right? We have the tree, then the branches, then the leaves, right? So we have these S curves, which is how do these branches exist? What is the map of those branches, so to speak? So, what? This S curves go, grow on these plateaus. So here's a question for everybody. What's easier to move? The big, thick trunk of the, the roots of the tree down there or the leaf up here that you can kind of hold with your hand? Which one's easier to move? The leaf. Which one existed longer? Trunk. Trunk and the trunk and the roots, right? Trunk, yeah. This existed longer. So this one's harder to move than this one. So right now, everybody here, 16, 17, 18, everyone here is developing the roots of your brain. That's what you're doing right now, all right? Mr. Much and I are here. Our roots are already developed. It's hard for Mr. Much and I to change our roots. Not for everyone here. You guys could change your roots really easily. So do you want weak roots? for the rest of your life? Or do you want big, strong roots for the rest of your life? Big, strong roots. Yay. <coughs> when you get into university, let's say you had strong roots when you were in high school, right? And now you're getting to the university. You're growing your next S-curve. Do you want it to be sh short or do you want to be tall? Tall again. Tall, 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 tall. You don't want to tall in one area, short in another, tall in another area. You want to make sure that you develop those curves over time to be sustainable, all right? To be strong throughout lifetime. Does this make sense? Who here plays an instrument, musical instrument? My friend, hey, you tell me, what instrument do you play? Play guitar, bass, drums, and drums. What? That's awesome. You, it's like a band. You're the, you're the whole band. That's super cool. So you play guitar. So when you first started playing the guitar, you started learning the notes of the guitar, right? What is, how do I hold the guitar, right? And you had to learn how to, like, what is the best strap down here, up there? Who plays a guitar like that? <laughs> do you think about all that now? It's just like a thing. It's just casual. Okay, put the guitar on, let's start playing. So you develop those roots, which is I am learning the notes. Now you develop those next roots. I am playing a song. And there's going to be a point in time, maybe even now, where you've mastered the songs. I am leading a concert. I'm playing a rock concert or something. Right? Same thing with economics. And same thing for your AP test coming up in May. Warning, warning. 
when you first learn your AP economics stuff, you're first learning out what is the vocabulary words of this AP econ test? What are the vocab words? What are the main subjects I need to study? And now you're in the, okay, now that I know what subjects I need to study, what I know the vocabulary words, now I go on to the next phase, all right? You're learning the song. And then it's the last thing, which is you've mastered the song. The, math, the song becomes easy, all right, in the econ. You're using the economics language very, very quickly. So for example, <clears throat> you don't want to get to the AP econ test and your main thinking model on that day is, what was the what was the term? What does profit and demand mean again? You don't want to think like that. You want to get to the AP test where that becomes so deeply ingrained that you're not thinking about how to play the notes. You're just playing songs at that point. You're sight reading the music and you're just boom, boom, boom. It's delightful to take the test. It's like a song to me. Yeah, I know this language. This language is deep inside my brain. All right? Does this make sense? Yes. Cool? Awesome? For the AP Econ test, you want to be number two, you want to be number three. If you're at number three, you memorize the vocab words, they're like language, and then you're talking the e AP Econ talk very casually. You're, you can text AP Econ language at a high level, that, that means you're at number three. And when you're at number three, you're gonna get a five on the AP Econ test. Does that make sense? All righty. So I usually give these presentations to science classes, medical classes, biology classes, but this is what it does on a brain level, which is over time, as your brain grows, the connectivity of your brain associated with that region increases. All right? Okay. So that's just a fun thing. This is the second principle I want everybody to remember. The brain and mind grows on S-curves. Make sense? They grow and they stabilize. Grow and they stabilize, just like a branching of a tree. Cool? Okie dokie. Let's go into the last section. I created this section for everybody here for AP Econ Accelerated Learning section. So we're going to talk about three things, three learning things. And by the way, when does this class end? Yeah, about 20 minutes. Awesome. 20, uh, 27. <coughs> 27 minutes? Am I no, 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 I mean, it ends at 12.47. Oh, okay. I was like, am I giving this presentation faster or something? I mean, this went so fast. Compound effect. All right, who, I'm going to, we need a volunteer. Awesome. No, you can sit down. Yeah, man. Well, I, I, we should do something in a few. No, you don't have to stand up. I'm just asking a question. So, um, actually, there is a prize. Extra homework. <laughs> Who said extra homework? Yes, that's the prize. You won extra homework. <laughs> there is no prize. But the, the prize is you learn something new today. That's the prize, okay? That's the best prize. Would you rather... Hello? Team, team, team. Would you rather have a million dollars now, right? Yes. Right now, dude. Come on, think. Million dollars now. The other one is a. The other one is a penny that doubles every day for thirty days. No, 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 he's trying to backtrack. He's gonna be like, oh no, I choose the penny now. No. That was him, that was him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but what does your heart say? Your heart says what? Come on, the heart says a million, come on. It says because I don't know what the answer is. Do you know about the compound, who here knows about the compound effect? Oh, a few people, cool. Okay. <laughs> so, you think I can cover it with my body? No, okay, but look at this penny. So the thing is, if you chose the penny, you are low-key gonna be chilling for 25 days with just like dollars in your hand. 
one cent, two cent, four cent, sixteen. You're gonna go like 25 days and like I only have like a hundred bucks. Until all of a sudden you're gonna have a thousand, two, four, eight, thirty-two thousand. 500,000, oh my gosh, 1 million, 2 million, 4 million. Oh, now it's compounding really fast, right? That compound effect though, does not occur until the 25th day. And this is the big deal breaker for everyone. You're like, 25 days? No, I want it right now. 25 days, I don't even know where I'll be in 25 days. So, who can, maybe, I, I don't know if I can like do this, but who here can relate this to studying? Who here has that part of their brain that's ability to translate concepts intuitively? Who has that region of the brain? It's better to have space for repetition practice as opposed to just cramming. This guy has the intuitive space translation, yes. So all that. No, that's correct. So, good job. That five minutes every single day is way, way better than five hours crammed the night before. Now, here's the thing though, here's the thing. Where, May, May four months from now? That seems so far away, does it, does it? Well, okay, well it seems more far away than tomorrow, right? Let me say that. Hang on. I think <laughs> this is a very advanced class. So these they, they already know all the tricks, but this is good. This is perfect. This is a good good indicator. You should be proud of yourselves. So the thing is, though, <coughs> studying a little bit every day is better than studying a lot the night before. Now, what's important here is this: a little bit could just mean literally like a few minutes. So it can be right before class begins, you do one quick, who here uses Quizlet? Quizlet, 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 kind of, kind of, flashcards? <laughs> one click, one quick flashcard, run through on your flashcards, or one quick Quizlet, boom. Right before class begins, or right before class ends, is just a very subtle way to kickstart your brain for that compound effect, okay? So you guys know about this, which is great, Reiterate again. These next two concepts, I hopefully, hopefully they're new. Scripting. This is fun. Fun, fun, fun. So, who here handwrites their notes? What? Who here types out their notes? What? Who here doesn't take notes and just takes a picture of the script, of the presentation? <laughs> yeah, man. That's right. And that's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, we're still moving forward. You're still in AP Econ, so just be, always be proud of yourself. So, this is, I'm, we're not, I'm not, this slide is not about writing notes or typing notes. It's not about that, it's about something else. It's something called scripting affirmations or scripting your identity. So, sometimes when we write down the notes, we write down the vocabulary word, the next to the definition, right? Vocab definition, vocab definition. This is something entirely new. This is just, you write down 10 times at the beginning of your study day, or at night, I am confident about my exams. Man. I enjoy studying for my future. I love to study. This is not, you're not learning anything here. This is not, oh my gosh, I'm studying for calculus tomorrow. No, this scripting affirmation is reaffirming in your brain and your identity a new habit that you want to build, okay? I enjoy weightlifting every morning. I enjoy learning new languages. I love to, I am learning three languages right now. And you write that down just five or 10 times every single day. And all of a sudden, that subconsciously, in a few months or a year, is gonna kick in. You're gonna, your brain is gonna subconsciously remember that, and it's gonna kick in and do that. I love to open up my business so I can make lots of money. I want to open up my business so I can make $1,000 each day. Write that down. 
I have a business that makes $1,000 each day. I have a business that makes $1,000 a day. Do it five times every day for a few months, then close your eyes, and one day you're gonna wake up and you'll be like, oh wait, maybe I should start a business one day. Oh wait, how, how do I start my business to make $1,000 each day? And all of a sudden you just kickstart your brain to that direction. Does that make sense? All right. So something that I like to do instead, because I'm not a big writer, I'm a typer type of guy. Everybody hold out your hands like this. So in times of distress or times of, oh my God, I'm so nervous about my test tomorrow. You do 33 times, units on this hand, tens on this hand. I'm going to do great on my test. 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 Say it to yourself, I'm going to do great on my test. I'm going to do great on my test. I'm going to do great on my test. I'm going to do I am, I am. Then I get to 10. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. 20. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. 30. I am, I am, I am. 33. Right? This is to yourself. This is not for anybody else. This is for yourself. When you are studying, oh my God, it's 5 a.m. and I'm hyped up on coffee from the night before. And I have this quiz test tomorrow. Oh. I can do it. 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 I'm going to study for this. I'm going to do great on my test. I'm going to do great on my test. So instead of, all right, my team. So instead of writing down those affirmations every day, just a quick say to yourself, 30 seconds, boom, 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 boom. To yourself quietly, even by yourself, whispering down the hallway. I can do it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm being serious. People do this. This is for you. It's not for somebody else. All right. I love to study. I love to study. I'm a great econ student. I'm a great econ student. And all of a sudden, if you know the compounding of doing it every single day, right before you go go to bed, you start to reaffirm your brain to do it. I don't just to always be in that setting. Okay. Cool. Bada bing, bada boom. Alrighty, we have two more slides. Let's go to, everybody have their laptops here? Can we go to this website, youthemind.com? <coughs> Does the school issue out Chromebooks? Yes. Oh, awesome, okay. So, but you can bring in your own laptop. So is that your city? <laughs> No, they throw them out? They recycle them. They don't recycle them? No, they just throw them out. No. Why? Somebody's got to talk. We got to contact Rexville principal. Huge problem. All right. All righty, righty, righty. Team, team, team. Hello. All right. Yep, that's correct. That's a fiber track. That's a brain neuronal fiber track. That's what it is. Okay, go to educational outreach on the side. And by the way, you can if you have do you have your own laptops at home? Everybody, in their own computers. So you can pull up the same thing in your home if you want to text down the website, you the mind that combo. Either way, go to subliminal affirmations. And beep up boop. Somebody who can somebody play it out loud? Make it loud. I love to study every day. I love to study every day. My mind's ability to learn and remember is increasing every day. I am advancing to new levels by learning more each day. I love learning and studying. I am a very quick learner. I am motivated to learn more, dig deeper, and conduct great research. I am a quick learner and happy all the time. My mistakes help me learn from. I always learn from my mistakes. So listen, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. My team. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, obviously, what is this? What? This is so. This is for you. This is. So in this, I created this for you, everyone here. The first 13 minutes are positive affirming phrases about studying. The last 30 minutes is the entire vocabulary list for your AP Econ test coming up in May. Yeah? That's what I did. Look. Look, look, look. Shh, shh. Play it, play it loud. 
The price of one currency in terms of a second currency, 89. Appreciating, depreciating currency. When the value of a currency is rising, relative to another currency. Okay. Yes, so hold on, hold on, but what's the importance of this? So there's, okay, let me, let's bring it back and focus. All right, why is this important? So, listen, so everybody have a favorite song, right? Can you think about the lyrics of that song right now? But when you're going throughout the day, can't you hear the song come back in your head and just be like, oh yeah, I'm in that phrase? I'm a soft guy, like a lady rough guy, ba -ba 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 -ba. right? And so that song comes back, and you just, the lyrics are just flowing naturally in your head. Now, let's look at our AP Econ uh, Economic song, right? Your AP Economic song. So the thing is, with constant playing, constant affirming in your brain, it's going to come out in your brain very easily, super duper easily. The reason why I'm sharing this study habit for you is because you literally don't have to do anything except for click the play button. So what I do at night, because we, because I have to learn different disciplines in the company, I am trained as a neuroscientist, as, a, as an engineer, but we have to learn computer topics, we have to learn finance topics, we have to learn things about in the medical field, hospitals and all this stuff. So a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of words, a bunch of terminology all the time. So every three weeks I change up my subliminal, but what I do is at night, I have a little speaker, Bluetooth speaker, sitting next to me like that. And it's playing at a very low volume, but a volume enough such that my brain could hear it. I can still sleep and the music is just playing. And I wake up the next morning, it's still playing. Okay, close it, go to work and go do my day job. But all of a sudden, every three weeks, I start to realize, wow, I'm becoming really fluent in various different subjects and I didn't even study for it. I didn't study for it. I just literally told my brain to learn it by itself. I <laughs> passive learning. <laughs> passive learning, that's what it is. You don't have to do anything. You literally just have to sit down and click a play button. So I recommend, so I recommend two approaches. Two approaches, number one. First approach, play it while you're brushing your teeth or showering, okay, and doing morning routine. Play it so you can hear it in the, as you're going out and brushing your teeth, okay? And just let it, don't think about it, just walk and do whatever you wanna do. Let it sing in the corner, okay? And you'll start to see over time, your, your ears are gonna naturally attract to it and you're like, oh yeah, I remember what it said, I love to study every day. Oh yeah, it's saying it again for the 10th time. All right. <laughs> the supply and demand curve is the curve that goes up on the supply and down on the demand. Something like that. But look at the vocabulary words, okay? And all of a sudden your ears are gonna start to gravitate them. So the first way to approach it is, one, do it while you're brushing your teeth and doing your morning routine. <clears throat> Number two, get a small Bluetooth speaker or headphones, but I like Bluetooth speaker because I don't like something touching my ear at night. So, because <laughs> it hurts, it hurts, I'm pressing on it. But I get a small Bluetooth speaker next to the bed pillow and just let it play. You don't need to do anything. All right, easy peasy, who's gonna do this? Yes, dude, it's so easy. It's so easy. We have one more thing on the computer, so please leave it out. One last thing. <clears throat> so here's the thing. You can make your own subliminals for anything. AP psychology, AP, uh, A push history and A push, all this stuff, right? And you can do subliminals for any topic you want. You can do subliminals for weightlifting. I'm a, I can bench press over 300 pounds. I can bench press over 300 pounds. Boom, 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 boom. Right? I'm a phenomenal basketball player. Right? I love to swim for 30 minutes each day. I love, I love, I love, I love. All of a sudden, you teach your brain to do that. It's very easy. Super easy. You just got to do it. All right. We're almost done here, team. Oh, my gosh. Three minutes. Three and a half minutes, yep. Uh-oh. So we have structure of mind. So remember that we had a shape of the tree? The tree has a shape. What is the shape of our minds? 
Does her mind have a shape? Huh? True, it doesn't. Not oh. a mind. <laughs> I don't know. The mind doesn't. It's shapeless. It's shapeless. Sure. Yeah. No. The important part here, I want to say one second, as we're almost about to leave. The mind and your identity evolves like these Russian dolls, okay? These Russian nests of I am. These called supersets and subsets. This is called a math concept called set theory. So it says, I am learning notes for the guitar. I'm learning notes for the guitar. I'm playing the guitar. I'm learning several songs on the guitar. I love to play the guitar every single day. I'm having a rock concert on the guitar. Okay, I am, I am, I am, I am. So here's the important part. Mm, are you playing a rock concert with your guitar in front of five million people right now? Okay, but can you close your <laughs> eyes and I am that? You can say it. Sure. Say it. I am playing a rock concert in front of five million people. Great. She yes. she projected <laughs> she projected her I am five years from now and she's constantly saying it. Until all of a sudden her actions, her habits, and her identity reflect that. Oh yeah, I am playing this is a concert in front of millions of people. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I've been saying this for years. Okay? I am gonna get a five on the AP test. Boom! Yada yada. We're almost done. Almost done. We'll do the last thing. Your mind can change forward and back in time. Imp oh gosh, I wish I had more time. Let's read this together, everybody. Loud, loud voice. Our graves are trees. Somebody that is a mind built upon that Your mind changes both forward and backwards in time. Yay.